Sandy, welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make tacos de maciza. This recipe is perfect for this Mexican Independence Day. So I hope you can give it a try. Remember, you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to use a steamer that comes with a steaming rack. So here I have my steamer and inside we're going to place the steaming rack then we're going to add in about 10 cups of water you want to add enough water to reach just below the surface of the steaming rack so feel free to add as much water as you need to and then after you add in the water now we're going to season the water with half an onion and you will also add in about three bay leaves and five garlic cloves together with a teaspoon of dry thyme and a few sprigs of marjoram then season this with salt to taste and then after that, now we're going to place a layer of meat on top of the steaming rack. I'm using a combination of pork and beef. And maciza means it's just a very clean and lean kind of meat. There is no fat, there is no bones, and there is no skin whatsoever in the meat. So it's a very lean kind of meat. You can ask your butcher for his recommendation. It could be shoulder, leg, or, or even the loin, as long as it's very lean and clean. So like I said, we're going to place a layer of meat on top of the steaming rack. Then we're going to season it with a little bit of dry thyme. I'm adding about a teaspoon and a half. You can add more or less according to your liking. And then after that, we'll also season with a few sprigs of marjoram. I added about eight sprigs. You can add more if you want to or less. And then we're going to season with salt to taste and also add a few garlic cloves. I added about five or six. It's a lot of meat, so please don't be afraid of using that much garlic or that much herbs. We will also season the meat with a cube of beef bouillon. Just try to break it over the meat. And then after that, we're going to top the meat with onion slices. You can add as many onion slices as you want to. Then we're going to top this with another layer of meat. And once again, we're going to season it with more thyme, more marjoram. We will also add in a little bit of whole black pepper. I added half a tablespoon. And then we're going to add in another three bay leaves. And then season again with salt to taste. Add more garlic cloves. I added another five. And then we're going to season this again with another cube of beef bouillon. Just sprinkle it over the meat. And then once again, we're going to top it with more onion slices. And then after that, once again, we're going to add another final layer of meat. Then continue to season it again with more marjoram, more thyme. More salt to taste, more garlic cloves, and also add more onion slices and then we're going to sprinkle it again with another cube of beef bouillon and then we're going to add in the rest of the black pepper it's another half a tablespoon of whole black pepper and that's about it now we're going to cook this on medium heat for about three hours or until the meat is very tender so we're going to cover it and we're going to cook it on medium heat for three hours we will check it after one and a half hours and this is how it looks after one and a half hours as you can see there is still plenty of water in the steamer the meat release a lot of juice that is normal but along the way you might need to add more water so if you think that you need to add more water to finish cooking the meat feel free to do so you can add more water at any time that you think is necessary so I'm just going to cover it again and then I'm going to cook it for another one and a half hours. After 90 minutes, it should be ready. I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to leave the meat in the steamer for 10 more minutes. Then after 10 minutes, you can remove the meat from the steamer. And we're just going to remove the meat. You can discard the onion, the garlic cloves, and all the herbs. You only need to remove the meat so we can shred it. 
And like I told you at the beginning, this is a combination of beef and pork, so it will be really flavorful and amazing. After you remove all the meat from the steamer, you're going to place it in a baking dish, and then you're going to shred it. You can shred it with your hands or with a fork. It will be really easy because the meat is really tender. And then after you have shredded all the meat, then you can make the tacos. So just heat up your tortillas and then we're going to add some of the meat right on the center of the tortilla and you can add as much meat as you want to. And just keep on making your tacos and this recipe will be enough to feed about 15 to 20 people, maybe more. So it's perfect to have a little Mexican Independence Day celebration with friends and family because it's really easy to make and it's amazingly delicious, I really recommend it. So now we're going to top the tacos with minced onion and minced cilantro. Also add some lime wedges and then add some of your favorite salsa and that's about it. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!